Well, today we are going to discuss about the basic switch configuration using Cisco Packet Tracer tool. How to configure a basic switch? Because we know that um, in the case of Cisco Packet Tracer, switches on routers play a very major role. So in order to do anything regarding the switches and routers, we need to first configure the switch. Uh, so it is very basic configuration. Today we are going to discuss about the very basic switch configuration. Let us start. Uh, to do this, I need only a switch. So I'll go to network devices, then switches. I'll take a commonly used Cisco switch 2960. I'll place it on the screen 2960 switch. Now uh, I need to configure the basic switch configuration. What are the things I need to do is I need to uh, rename first, I need to rename the switch. Switch as um, SW0. Uh, let me take a SW1. First is I need to rename the switch. Second, I need to create password for console. Okay, that is nothing but login password I need to create. I need to create a password as Cisco I need to give. The third one is I need to create password for enable as class. Then fourth thing what I need to do, I need to secure all the passwords and I need to assign IP address for the switch. Uh, last sixth one is I need to display a banner message as um, access restricted. This is the banner message. So these are all the things uh, I need to do regarding the switch configuration. I need to rename the switch as SW1. I need to create a password for console that is login as Cisco. And I need to create a password for enable as class. Uh, secure all the passwords, assign IP address for the switch. Uh, let me take IP address I need to assign as 192.168.1.100 is the IP address uh, for, for this. Since it is a class C IP address, the mask will be 255.255.0. Okay, so let me do, do this for configuration now. So oh, let us start the configuration, configuring the switch now. These are the things I need to do. Okay, now uh, let me do start the process. I'll move on to the switch. Okay, see this is the switch. We know the about this switch. Let us see the physical configuration of the switch. Physical configuration of the switch is having around 24 ports. All these ports are um, fast ethernet ports and we have two ports for gigabit ethernet. Okay, uh, the hardware module of this switch will also look like the same thing. Uh, since it is a 2960 switch, we have 24 fast ethernet ports and two gigabit ethernet ports. Uh, moving on to the CLI, moving on to the CLI, since First, we'll start. There will be something called as press return to get started. Press enter. Once we enter into this, we'll move on to the user executive mode. From the user executive mode, we need to move on to the privileged mode. Okay, to move on to the privileged mode, the command used is enable. Once we press enable, it will move on to the next section. So it is in the privileged mode. Okay, from the privileged mode, we need to go on to the global configuration mode. The command to be used is configuration terminal CONF space T. Okay. Now we are in the global configuration mode. Here in this mode, we'll be able to do any sort of configuration only in the global configuration mode. Uh, first, let us change the name of the switch. Uh, I'll take uh, switch name they have given us SW1 I need to give. So 
to give any name either for the switch as well as for the router. Uh, it is like host name, host name, uh, SW, whatever name we need to give, you can give that host name SW1. So now with this, we are able to change the name of the switch. Now we can see that now it is in the name of the switch is just switch. Once I press enter, now it has moved on to the, the name has been changed like SW1 is the name of the switch. So now we have to have successfully completed the uh, first part. We have completed this first part, correct? So let me say that it is done. This process is done. Second, I need to create a password for console and I need to create a password for enable, correct? So let us start creating these two passwords now. Uh, so for that one, to for setting a password for user mode or for console mode, I need to move on to a sub configuration of the global configuration that is called as line configuration. The command to use is line, line console zero. Once we do this one, now we can see that now it has a global, from the global configuration, it has been moved to the line configuration mode. In the line configuration mode, we'll be able to assign the password for the console. So as the command is password space, um, the password we have assigned is Cisco. We need to give, we can give any passwords, but since they have given us this conditions that we need to follow that password Cisco. Now we successfully given the password. Now from the line configuration mode, I need to move on to the, move back to the global configuration mode. For that, let me take um, when, when it has to be given, whenever there is a login, this password should be asked. Fine. From there, I'll exit from this mode. Now it has been came out of this mode. Okay. But then I, in the global configuration mode, I need to give a password for enable. Okay. That is to enter into the uh, global configuration mode. The password is enable password, enable. What is the password? Enable password class. So for this, to give a for setting up a password at privileged mode, I have given a password as class. Now the both passwords I have given. So now in order to secure these two passwords, I'll go with the command called as service. Service password so yeah it's just the mystery service password encryption service password encryption if i say this one so all the passwords are encrypted now uh, now uh, these two tasks i have completed i have given a password for i have given a password for the login as cisco cisco this has been done. And then I give a password for the class one, enable, that is also done. Now I have also secured all the passwords. I have completed this task, okay? So I need to assign the IP address for the switch. I need to display a banner message as um, access restricted, correct? So first let me complete the first portion. Um, I'll give a banner message. The command is banner. MOTD message of the day. You can use any signs. Uh, I'll use a dollar sign to give my text. Okay. Restricted access. I need to give restricted access. Close it with the dollar sign and then press enter. Now we have completed the banner message. Also, we have completed. Correct. Now only left out portion is. I need to assign the IP address. I need to assign the IP address. Okay, let me start giving the IP address. Uh, to give the IP address, what I should do. So earlier we used a sub configuration mode of the global configuration that is line configuration we have used. Now to give an IP address from the global configuration mode, what I have to do, I need to move on to the interface mode, line interface mode, interface, VLAN one interface VLAN one. 
when I press this interface VLAN 1, I'll move on to the interface mode. Why I've given the VLAN 1 is in default, there will be a default VLAN called as VLAN 1 in all the switches. So inside that VLAN 1, I'll be able to assign the IP address. So uh, now what is that command I can use? IP address IP. IP address. What is the IP address they have given me to do? 192.168.1.100. Since it is a class C, obviously my mask will be 255.255.255.0. So now I have given the IP address. After giving the IP address, either for the switch or for the router, you need to give a no, no shutdown command. What is the use of this no shutdown command? Initially, the devices will be in down mode. Once we give a no shutdown command, these devices will become up mode so that it will not uh, sleep down. We'll be able to do the access. No shutdown command. After giving the no shutdown command, you can exit from this mode, interface mode. Now we are only in the um, global configuration mode. Now we'll see whatever configuration we have done is it we have we need we need, will be able to show using the some show commands uh, for that you need to be in normal privileged mode so i'll move on mode of the global configuration mode now i am in the user privileged mode in the privileged mode i can show whatever things we have done show show running config show running configuration once I press this show running configuration, I'll be able to see all the things, whatever I have done. See, I have given service password encryption. So now the host name has been changed. You can see here, host name has been changed to SW1. Now I enable password, I have encrypted all the passwords. So I will not be able to see what is the password I have given here. Clear? No. So ethernet ports you can see all the ethernet ports are present 24 ethernet ports and 2 gigabit ethernet ports and i have given the interface vlan command that is for assigning the ip address 192.168.1.100 with a submit mask and i have given the banner message as restricted access see restricted access i have given that i can have done then line console password is also protected okay so these are the things i have done now I'll exit from this. Now I'll exit from this. Now I have completed assigning the IP addresses also. Now this, this is the what basic switch configuration is. We'll verify what we have done. Uh, now we'll, I will move on to the switch again. See, once I move on to the switch now, see it is giving me restricted access, correct? Restricted access, access is a banner message. It is asking for a password. What is the password we have given for login? It is Cisco, type Cisco, type Cisco. See, now it has moved on to the next mode. Here, what is things like uh, other devices will here, we will not be able to see the password typing. Either it has a star, 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 or anything. We will not be able to see passwords, but you need to type the passwords. Now it is in the switch mode. Here, now I'm going to enable mode. Once I ask, go into enable mode, it should ask me enable password. Let us see. See now, once I move on to the enable, it is asking me enable password. What is the password we have given? Enable password we have given is class. So class I have given. Now it has moved on to the enable mode. That is your privilege mode. Now I can go with conf t. Conf t. Now you can see that the switch name has been changed. Password has been asked. Okay. So this is how we'll be able to do all the basic switch configuration. The similar way, we will be able to do the router configuration also. We will see that in the next video lecture. Now, I hope that you have understood the basic switch configuration. So to recap, whatever things we have done, we have taken a switch of 2960. Then we have renamed the switch as SW1. We have created a password for console that is login as uh, user mode as Cisco and we have created a privilege mode password as class. Then we have secured all the passwords using the password encryption, service password encryption. Then we have assigned the IP address for the switch uh, as given. 
uh, then we have given a message banner message we have displayed a banner message as access restricted or restricted access whatever it may be okay so we'll see the basic router configuration in the next video uh, thank you